Hello friends and welcome back to the tutorial of Python for the beginners. My name is Ashish Saini and in today's session we will continue with the objects and classes. So in today's session we are going to learn that what is data hiding, right? So from the name itself it is clear to you that what is data hiding, right? So before starting all this let's see what are the topics that we are going to cover in our today's session. So for that let's have a short recap for that. So this is a short precap for all the things that we will cover in our today's session. Now let's move further and understand that what is data hiding. So understanding the objects and classes. So what is data hiding? Like from the name itself, it is clear to you that we are going to hide your data, right? So why do we need data hiding? Because as you know, if you are going to log in on some website, then you are having some credentials like the username and the password. So what are those? These are your unique identifications due to which you are going to access your own profile so that you can contact or communicate with some other person. So if in case you want to hide your credentials, which is the username and the password, in that case, what you will use? You will definitely use the data hiding concept, right? Because Using that concept, you are going to hide your data, right? So in that case, we are going to use the data hiding. Now let's see how do we use data hiding in your Python. So for that, let's go back to the program which we have created in the last session. So before starting, let's see what we have done in a previous session. In the previous session, what we have done is we have just created a class named fruit and in that class, we have just used the different parameters to check the attributes inside your object which you have just created and after that you have seen how to destroy the object that you have created, right? Now, in today's session, we are going to hide our data, right? But before hiding some data, we must have some data, right? So for that, let's copy this code to create a class and inside that class we will take one variable inside which we will store some value right so we have created a class inside which we are having the constructor method we are having the destruction object and after that let's go just after this line and after that line we are going to create one variable which will store some value like let's say so you name which is the username in which you will store your username for some website or you can say for some social website on which you can communicate with some other person right now what I want is I want to hide this username but before hiding let's see how we can access this data for that let's enter some value in that so for that let's enter an email ID like I'm taking abc at python.com so this is what this is an email id which i am storing inside my variable u name right so this is the way i have created a new variable which will store the username now do one thing just create this class press enter enter so you have just created a class after that what you have to do you have to create an object using this class fruit so for that take one variable to create your object so let's take a variable name object is equals to and inside that bracket let's see how to create the object so just pass the values first is the fruit name second is the quantity for that so quantity is 5 now press enter so you have created a new object right in this case you can see this is constructor created and this is object destroyed why this is showing destroyed object because what i have done is i have used the same variable name before that's why it is just overwriting that object so to overwrite that what it will do is it will just destroy that object first and then it will reconstruct that object so that's why it is showing two messages in my case but in your case it may only show the one output which is the constructor created right so if in case I will create it using some different name in that case you will not get this object destroyed right that we will see just after this line but before let's do one thing let's check 
what is the username right so for that just write object one dot and just after that wait for a while and you can see there are four attributes the first one is detail fruit name quantity and the u name and what i want to check is that what is the u name which is the username for my class fruit right so just press enter so it will show you that what is the username for your class fruit so this is the way how you can access the value if the data is not hidden right but this data anyone can see and i do not want to share this data with any of the other person i want to share the data only with the authenticated person right so in that case i want to hide this data so in that case only the authorized person can access this data so for that i have to just hide this data and to hide that data what i have to do is i have to create this class again so just copy this and paste this here and before writing the name what you have to do is you have to write double underscore and what this double underscore will do is it will just hide your data and you cannot access the data directly in the way i have just accessed here right so for that just do one thing write double underscore then write the name of the variable in which you want to store your data and what this double underscore will do is this will just hide your data inside your variable you name now just create this class now again create one object so for that just write object 3 is equals to and open the bracket write the fruit name quantity is 4 press enter see this time what happened last time when we have created a new object at that time these two messages were showing but this time you are only able to see one message which is the constructor created and this is because object 3 is not already there that means you can only create that object you cannot destroy that object in the first step right so now let's check that whether you are able to check the username or not so for that just write object 3 dot wait for a while now you can see this time you are able to see only three attributes the first one is detail fruit name and the quantity so these are the three attributes which you are able to see this time but this time you are not able to see the u name right now you must be thinking that I have given the name as double underscore u name then why it should uh, show you the name like this right so in that case you must be thinking we have to just put double underscore then check for the u name right so let's try in that case as well so just try double underscore and u now when you will write this you can see you are not able to see any attribute with the name double underscore u name right so in that case you cannot access it like that so in that case what you have to do is you have to write the class name first and then the attribute name right in that case what you have to do is you have to write single underscore and then the class name which is fruit and then double underscore and then you have to write the u name which is this one that means single underscore then the class name then the name which you have used here to hide your data right now just press enter see this time you are able to see that what is the value inside your u name right so this is the way how you can hide your data and you can save your data from any theft right or you can say you can save your data from any cyber theft right so in this way you can hide your data so this was it for your today's session i hope you have understood all the things very clearly but still if you are having some doubts in the topic data hiding then please leave a comment in the comment section so that i can solve your issue at the earliest and if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos and also you can click on the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i will upload a new video so just stay tuned to my channel and till now thanks for watching